everybody. Really nice to see your faces again. Just going to be a couple of minutes settling in in case there's any slightly late arrivals. So I hope you've got a place for yourself where you'll be able to fully relax and maybe if you want to light a candle, make sure you've got some water with you. Make sure you're going to be comfortable and have the right cushions and things for you to lie down and just ah, completely absorb what's on offer. Thank you, Natalie, for that beautiful serenade and um, Hello, fun. everyone. <laughs> Welcome to um, this glorious new moon in Sagittarius. And for those of you who have joined us, for all of our new moons, welcome back and welcome to Natalie, Natalie Matos, my dear friend and healer and wonderful, wonderful musician. Um, tonight, she will be offering her conscious voice sound healing session for all of us together. Um, Natalie, it's so good to see you again. So <laughs> good to you and to hear you. I'm sure everyone's really been looking forward to the session after the last few intense days. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has been feeling it, but this new moon is a big one. It's the last new moon of the year. It's uh, sort of an opportunity now for us to set some intentions, clear away all the things that, you know, we want to let go of this year and move into that next next phase of things and set our intentions for the new year. We don't have to wait till January 1st to do that. We can set our intentions now and, and see them come to fruition in the next uh, few weeks, in the next few months. And Natalie, do you want to add anything about this new moon? Uh, yeah, thank you, Rohini. Um, uh, it's lovely to back, be back. It's always lovely to connect in this way for the new moon. And uh, yeah, lovely to see familiar names and faces as well. Um, and yes, it has been a bit of an intense run up to this new moon. Um, as Rohini was saying, it's also eclipse season. Um, and what eclipses tend to do is mean that we have uh, things in a little bit more of a stronger fashion. So uh, the, the idea of, of the new beginnings of the new moon, they can suddenly, you can suddenly find that your life just completely changes around and you're doing something very different. Sudden endings, sudden new beginnings. Um, and of course, the run up to sudden endings or sudden new beginnings can often be um, a lot of emotions, a lot of clearing, a lot of needing to understand situations. 
Um, <sighs> so yes, one of the things I was saying to Rahini as I came on this evening, sometimes I get guided with some form of idea of what we're actually going to be doing. And other times I get told, you'll find out when we're there, um, which always makes me a little bit nervous. But it always goes well, and I always get guided, and I always get supported. But uh, that is what happened this evening. And I, I was just talking to Rahini about it before you guys came on. And um, I discovered it's Rahini's birthday on Thursday. So just wanted to say a happy birthday to her. And uh, she's in Sagittarius. Um, and she was uh, laughing and saying, well, Sagittarius is a very spontaneity, spontaneous, can I say the word? Spontaneous, spon <laughs> maybe I can't say the word, but I think you all know what I mean. <laughs> spontaneous sign. Um, and that's maybe why um, I've been guided to just go with the flow this evening. Um, one of the things that I would say that is coming up very strongly is... Mm. this feeling of freedom, this feeling of heart, and this feeling of doing whatever it is right for us to do that helps our soul sing. <sighs> and one of the things uh, with this new moon is we were talking about our subconscious beliefs, our philosophies, our things that guide us in life. And the invitation really strongly is to just say, let your soul guide you. Let whatever makes you expand, whatever makes you feel good, whatever gives you that zing, just follow that. Follow that with all your heart. Um, and when we try and do that, that's when we feel I mean, the resistance comes up. That's when we feel if there's anything we need to delve a little bit deeper on in understanding our own belief patterns that are maybe stopping us from moving forward in that way. <sighs> so yes, that's a bit of background in terms of what uh, the areas we're going to be looking at today. And we'll see what actually happens once we dive deep into the space. So. Thank you, Natalie. Um, before we go on, I just wanted to mention, um, because I know once once you're done with the session, everyone's going to be in a really beautiful, beautiful space uh, or not. I don't know. Maybe it's going to bring up some emotions that also happens. But um, just wanted to let you all know that now, apart from um, doing these beautiful free new moon offerings, has also um, created some really special uh, recordings. And these are focused on issues. If you're facing any issues of fear and anxiety and overwhelm and stress, these are incredible one hour long sound recordings, conscious voice sound healing recordings that Natalie's prepared, especially for anyone that, that might be having these, uh, you know, coming, dealing with these issues, uh, especially uh, after the year that we've all we've all experienced um, and it would be a great uh, great gift for yourself or for anyone that you might have in your life um, we've got a special offer on right now on our website and I'll share that link with you at the end but uh, I just wanted to give you all a heads up and say thank you to Natalie for, for preparing this for us as well and for offering this um, as an extra uh, offering on our on our website and she'll also be adding, you'll also be adding to um, these recordings as the months go on. So uh, I think in response to what you feel is necessary uh, for the time for the collective. So yeah, I just wanted to say yeah. thank you and have a great session, everyone. Sit back, relax. I'm also going to do that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, blessing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rahini. And yeah, it was, it's been very uh, beautiful to prepare the sessions for you all. Um, I have been discovering more and more of my treatments. And obviously, with this year and what's going on is we're all really being pushed and really being pushed, as I say, to get in contact with that energy that is our, our soul energy and, and, and leaving and letting go of our limiting beliefs. And, and all of these things, all of these changes bring up a lot of fear, bring up a lot of anxiety and a lot of overwhelm. Um, so I thought it would be uh, a good thing to prepare some recorded healings around this. Um, and 
it's something that you can listen to over and over again. And in fact, the more you listen to it, the more your vibration is going to rise into the field of expansion as opposed to that contraction of anxiety and fear. <laughs> and the idea is that actually whatever is going on for you in your life, if a few weeks down the line or a month down the line you feel your anxiety coming back, is that you can go back and listen to the recording again. And these recordings can really become a foundation for yourself so that you have this tool that every time you feel something coming on, you can say, it's okay, I'm just going to lie down or sit down and relax and just listen to this recording and bring myself back in. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoy. I think the link's gone up and uh, they are going on sale. They're on sale for 14 days on a reduced offer, so feel free to take a look. <sighs> and for now, we're going to come back to the energies of this new moon. So I believe Rohini is uh, going to be dealing with the chat for me through this as uh, it's quite hard for me to do the both. So please just take your time now to get into a nice relaxing position, lying down. This is your time, your space, your gift to yourself to support yourself with as much love as you possibly can with this beautiful new moon. It's offering us this opportunity of new beginnings and new adventure and new spontaneity and new freedom and new love. So if you can, could you all individually just imagine surrounding you in the room that you're in. And from within that ball of white light, you're safe. From within that ball of white light, you can feel your shoulders drop. You can feel into your own heart, maybe place a hand on your heart and Say hello to yourself, connect in with that beautiful loop of love that you can have between spirit and your own heart and your hand as it goes around your body. So feeling into the field this evening and each of you individually. <laughs> There's such a, a vulnerability to us all today. So I just want to acknowledge that. I want to let all of us know that 
This is a space for holding and for love and for nurturance. Everything that you do is for you to have at your own pace. And there's no intention here other than for you to relax, to feel loved, to feel held, to feel seen and understood. to clear away any energies within your system that are not serving you. Hmm. So those of you that are understanding of inner child work, of know what it is to connect with your inner child. I can feel, I <laughs> feel, oh my goodness, so many present. And I just feel, even if you haven't done this work before, just imagine yourself as a child if you can. See a picture of yourself or if you can't fully see that picture yet or connect with yourself, just, if you like, just take a pillow and imagine that that's you as a child. <sighs> and just imagine yourself holding your child in whatever way feels most comfortable to you. Hmm. It might be that you want to lie on your side and find yourself spooning a pillow and imagining that that's your child and just holding him or her and just <sighs> letting your child know how loved he or she is. <sighs> that you're not going to let anything bad happen. When we talk about change, when we talk about new beginnings, often our, our child can be very triggered, very scared at the thought. Hmm. Human beings naturally have a fear of change. We like to feel the comfort of the known. And if you think about it, for, for children, there's often been some very shocking experiences of change. <laughs> the shock of birth is the first thing that comes to mind. Hmm. The shock of going to school. The shock sometimes of not being able to find a parent or your parent not behaving in the way that you're used to. All of these things for a young child <sighs> can cause such a strong emotional reaction. So just imagine yourself connecting and holding your inner child, letting them know that this session is for them.
and letting them know how valued they are. How special they are. <sighs> and letting them know that whilst we can't control anything that goes on in the outside world. What we can do is control our internal world. And there is a consistency that we can offer our inner child. And that is the consistency of connection between us as our wise adult selves and our inner beings. And when we have that consistent connection, the more we work on creating a consistent connection, the more we have access to a lot of our beliefs and patterning And the more we create a sense of deep, deep safety. Because we are the one person in life that can never leave our child. We can never leave ourselves. And if we start to learn how to bring our conscious minds to our inner connection in a consistent way, <sighs> oh my goodness, it feels like we can handle anything. And yes, we may be nervous. Yes, we may have fears. Yes, we may have vulnerabilities. Yes, we may have trauma, upset, heartache, whatever it might be. but when that can be held with consistent connection. That's when everything starts to soften.
And what's so beautiful is that that constant, that connection, that internal consciousness around our inner self. That's just the beginning. Because from there, we can connect in with Mother Earth. So just as I'm saying that, just tune in to the Earth beneath you. A beautiful way to just feel into the expansiveness of the Earth is to Take a moment to consider how long it would take you to walk around her. My goodness, we have this huge mass, this huge, beautiful, loving, grounding, loyal, nurturing energy. Come down to the base of your body. Feel into your womb and your root chakra. Or your womb area, your sacral. goodness and what a, a softness and a vulnerability as we <sighs> just tune into our sacral and our root. It feels like the softness of a newborn baby. <sighs> the way you might a baby in a soft blanket and just show so much love and so much tenderness. That's the feeling that's coming in now. That's the energy that's coming in now for us all as we connect in with our sacrals and our roots. Just taking that energy down through each of your legs as gently and slowly as possible from the hips down through the thighs to the knees. And let's just wait there. <laughs> Remembering that this process of grounding is something we need to do gently and with love. As we ground, we bring up our vulnerabilities. And it can be scary. So I'm going to use the example that I've used many times before, that if a child is nervous of water, you might just take them to the edge of the water and let them sit with their feet in it and get used to that feeling. <sighs> so 
So it's the same for us in life. When fears come up around connecting, when vulnerabilities come up, let's just offer ourselves that blanket, that softness. <sighs> and let's imagine ourselves sitting gently with our feet in the water. Getting used to the feeling. And yes, there's times for spontaneity. Yes, there's times for diving deep and just jumping. <sighs> but those times come <sighs> with strength when we do it once we're already deeply connected it's like once we allow the vulnerability once we allow the holding once we allow the nurturing once we let ourselves gently come into that space of holding our vulnerability with strength then from nowhere we find ourselves becoming spontaneous because we feel safe, because we have energy, because we feel connected, because we can feel the expansiveness and the beauty of the universe. And who wouldn't want to be spontaneous when you can feel all of that? Let's take that energy down again from the hips, down through the root chakra, down through the thighs to the knees. And this time down through the shins to the feet. And imagining that energy going down and down and down the center of the earth. So let's imagine that we're going to come together as a group. And we're going to, as a group, sit around or lie around, however's comfortable for you, imagining. We're going to sit around a fire. Hmm. That fire is deeply connected with the fire at the center of the earth. Hmm. And let's just take a moment to think about fire, how strong it is, how powerful it is. And at the same time, if in contact with water, it's gone. How do we create a warm and safe fire? Safe for others, safe for ourselves safe for the fire itself. Mm. 
So we might put a boundary around a fire, might put some stones around to ensure that the flames don't go out too far. And this is what we need to do as human beings. We need to have our boundaries energetically and physically and practically. Where we feel safe enough to express the truth of who we are. And understand that we want to be around people that honor that truth and listen to us. Let's imagine we have a ball of light that's going to surround all of us as a group now. Let's imagine that each of us are there around that fire as ourselves, our inner child or inner children if you have more than one. <sighs> and you're so comfortable. Whatever it is that you need by your side or on you, a blanket to keep you warm, cushions underneath you, whatever you need is there for you. And as you get comfy, you realize that everyone else in the group it's so, so similar to you. <laughs> There's no emotion that any of us will have had that somebody else hasn't also had. The circumstances might be different, but we all know what it is to feel emotions. Some of us might have learned to hide them. Some of us might have them flow more easily. But we all, all have them. And beautifully this evening, it just feels like there's such harmony between the energies of everyone in the group. And just want to thank you all for that, because this happens when you're in your own truth. When you're in your individual truth, the harmony comes. <sighs> and so the fact that you've accessed yourself with such honor means that you're contributing so strongly to the harmony here this evening. Oh, 
And I would invite you all now to invite in your spirits, guides, if you haven't done already, power animals, whatever it is that you believe in, somebody might have passed on and you would like their energy with you. Just invite them to be with you and maybe invite them to be almost sitting behind you around the fire and imagining their energy coming in through the back of your body. <sighs> through the back of the sacral, the back of the solar plexus and the stomach area, the back of the heart. Oh, and just feel that warmth coming to you. deeper, I can feel actually um, <sighs> internal conflict. How do we deal with our internal conflict? I'm going to give you an example of what I mean by that. <sighs> So it could be, for example, that our inner child needs deep love and connection and has learned to get that from the external. And when that happens, sometimes we can find ourselves really desperately wanting somebody else to help us, to support us, to give us what we're needing. And I'm not suggesting in any way that we shouldn't be loved and supported by other people. But in my experience, when our inner child needs in that way, it's actually that we need to start looking internally for that connection. And what can happen sometimes when we're not consciously aware of this is that we can find ourselves, <sighs> we can find ourselves trying to control other people's behavior trying to get them to do what it is that we need. And this can often create an internal conflict between maybe another value that we have in life, which might be that everyone's free and everyone's entitled to behave however they want to and that we have no right to control someone. And I'm bringing this up this evening because I can feel this kind of internal conflict going along or going on with a lot of us. It's part of being human. <laughs> experience the way that we can deal with this is to connect with our internal selves <laughs> 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 
and learn to give ourselves the love and connection that we need. Learn to connect with spirit that has so much love to give us. So inviting you once again just to really connect in with your inner self. The more love we can give ourselves, the more we can invite spirit in to support us and to just create that light in our hearts. <sighs> the more we're open to moving forward with freedom. No needing to control anything, trusting. Trusting that life is happening for us.
I don't know if you guys are feeling it, but there is so much love and playfulness going around the group energy. It's really, really beautiful. It's making me smile. <laughs> ah, and the feeling is just one of... <sighs> there's just no need to be worried about any change or anything. We just need to connect, come into our hearts, come into our truth, to love ourselves, to hug ourselves, to honor ourselves, to ask spirit to join us in bringing that energy to us. <sighs> and just asking life to bring us whatever is our purpose, whatever is our life purpose. Just ask it to, to come to us. Life's all about experiencing, and we can't experience if we don't do. We can't experience if we don't have change. We just keep doing the same thing over and over again, and none of us want to do that. And as I say all of these things, it's like something's just shifted slightly in the, in the energy in terms of feeling the heartache. We all hold cellular memory and experiences of things that have hurt us. And we can't promise our inner child that pain won't happen. Connecting and disconnecting are part of life and <sighs> connection always feels so great and so expansive and disconnection always feels hard and contraction and heartache and difficulty. But I invite you all right now to feel deeply into your hearts. See if you can, within your heart, just spot the tiniest speck of white light. The tiniest, tiniest speck that comes from the deepest, deepest depths of the com cosmos. And that light, that strength, that softness, that deep connection can always be there for us. whether we're in expansion or contraction, whether we're in connection or disconnection. Let's everyone bring our awareness down to our womb areas, the area of creation. And again, this is an area that holds so much <sighs> vulnerability and emotion. So once again, just see if you can, in the center of that area, just 
locate the tiniest, tiniest dot of white light. It's the essence of you at the deepest, deepest center of the cosmos. <sighs> well done, everyone. Know that you're held and loved. If there's any emotions coming, just try and allow them to flow. We're all with you. Spirit's with you. Mother Earth is with you. Take your awareness into your stomach and your solar plexus. And again, see if you can find the tiniest, tiniest dot of white light in the center of that area. Ooh. Again, this area of our body is so tender, the seat of our emotions. See if you can find that delicate <sighs> dot of white light and remember again that it comes from the deepest, deepest depths of the cosmos. Remembering who we are at our core
I just had a beautiful vision of a panther coming and joining us around that fire. Hmm. Panthers are all about our passion and our shadow and our strength. And it's almost like the panther being there brings up a fear. Of course it does. It's a wild animal. But at the same time, there's a trust and a tenderness and a, a joy that goes alongside that incredible sense of wonder of having an animal like that with us. And awe-inspiring. Sometimes this can happen with life. Sometimes life gives us these opportunities or <sighs> nudges us to, to move over to a point where we can feel so raw and yet so strong so vulnerable, yet so connected. A bit like we might feel if we literally were sat around the fire with the wild panther. Just inviting you now to feel into the depths with me. In whatever way feels good for you, it might be. You want to tune into your sensuality, your sexuality. It might be that you want to Imagine the panther, it might be that you want to oh, imagine the deepest, darkest depths beneath the earth. 
whatever feels right for you to just tune into that shadow a little bit and oh when i talk about the shadow it can often bring up triggers in people and so just try not to attach to my words it's an energy it's a depth it's a strength it's a truth it's a rawness it's a vulnerability And if any of it feels too much for you, then just don't, f you don't need to go there. Go as far as feels right for you. Don't try and push yourselves. Remember how your inner child might be feeling. Honor the whole of you. Your most vulnerable part needs to take the lead. <laughs> so inviting you to place one hand on the front of your sacral and one hand on the back of your sacral if possible. Going back to that tiny, tiny dot of white light that exists in the deepest, darkest cosmos and at the same time 
in between your two hands. Take that energy down to the root chakra. Just feel into the base of your body. Take it out into the hips, jockets, hip sockets and the joints. Where the top of the thigh bone meets the hips. And take it down again, very gently, from the hips down through the thighs, to the knees. As we tune into this deep, deep vibration, just imagine any energy that's no longer serving you, any thoughts, any feelings, any emotions, hmm, just evaporating out of your body as this deep energy goes down. <sighs> And take it down from your knees, through your thighs and down to your ankles and the soles of your feet and each of your toes. Oy, 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 oy. And feel it go down and down to the center of the earth. And as that energy gets absorbed by the earth, you feel that deeper connection. The deeper the depths, the deeper the roots, the higher the heights, the higher the branches. So keep that depth going down and down and down. Down and down. Down and down and down. Really, really well done, everyone. And there's no need for any form of internal conflict or internal controlling. Just feel into those depths. And if another part of you doesn't want to go there, that's fine. The more you feel into those depths, the more the parts of you that are nervous of it, 
will become intrigued and also want to understand what this deep, deep energy is. <sighs> so even if you only get a glimpse of it for a second, you've done well. And if this time round you haven't managed to connect with the depths, then again, there's nothing to judge yourself over. It's just gently showing yourself the doorway. And when you're ready, you'll suddenly see that bit of light come through the door as you, as you begin to enter this, this vibration. So just imagining what life would be like if we were able to operate from this depth continuously. Just imagine how high we could go if we had this as our roots. And the first thing that springs to mind really strongly is just how slowly we would move. What's quite interesting for me today in terms of what we've done is we've gone from this very light, giggly, fairy style energy that's been all about <laughs> spontaneity and freedom and, and just believing and trusting and smiling and expansion. And then we've come into this very, very deep, solid, strong depth. And it's to remember that they both exist and they can both exist at the same time. <sighs> so before I start to bring ourselves out of this and please just take a moment to focus on the energy of this new moon. The new beginnings that it offers. If there's an intention that you want to set for yourself, then please go ahead and do it. And just to add that it's often good to keep our intentions really, really broad. If you're not sure what to do in life, then maybe just ask for it to be shown to you. And sometimes all we need to do is set our intention that we're willing to do whatever life gives us as we trust that life is honoring our highest purpose, honoring our learning, our growth. And 
part of that growth and learning can sometimes be to discern when something isn't right for us. To say no to certain things, to have the boundaries that we spoke about when we had the fire at the beginning and those, those stones around the fire to stop things spreading, to stop us moving into a place of danger. If we could all just take a moment to, from this deep space, feel back into our hearts and feel the difference. <sighs> Let's imagine ourselves around that fire, placing our hands on the earth and just sending love back to the earth, honoring her for everything that she gives us. Let's imagine ourselves sending love to the whole of humanity. No one in this life, in this world, is actually doing anything wrong as such. Everyone's just living their lives in their own unique way, with their own unique journey, their own unique learning. their own unique gifts for others. And yes, we have the right to discern who is or isn't the right person for us as individuals to be close to. We have the right to choose the people, the words, the wisdom of people that help us expand to discern who's right for us, who isn't right for us. But that doesn't mean that the other people in this world are wrong. <sighs> it just means that they're living their unique journey in a different way to us. It's interesting, the heart energy that I'm seeing right now is, it's beautiful and it's deep. But what I'm seeing is some of the heart energy is, is kind of getting entangled. <sighs> and it's like we've so got used to, hmm, how do I explain what I'm seeing? We've got used to connecting with people in a way where we become maybe a little bit too entwined. <sighs> so if you can, just imagine that it's okay for you to let your heart energy just expand, purely in expansion, with the mind intention to send that energy to the world without actually the need to have your energy become entwined in other people. <sighs> we've got our boundaries, we've got our outer layer of our auric field, we've got our connection with the earth, we've got our connection with the elements through each of our chakras, we don't actually need to entwine our energy. We can literally just expand it to our safe boundary. <sighs> and oh my goodness, how we can relax when we do that.
And I'm sorry, everyone, we're coming up to time. I just need to do a final little bit of clearing. I'm sorry if I'm overrunning a little bit. It's coming up to 9.30 in case anybody... If you can stay with us, then please do, because I just want to clear a couple of things and then we'll come back out. just taking a moment to imagine yourself just saying thanks to everybody in the group for all of us bringing our unique energies here today in this unique moment this unique time in this universe on the earth with the new moon this eclipse <sighs> When you're ready, let's imagine ourselves back in our individual rooms. And it's like the white ball of light that we're surrounding us as a group is going to be grabbing all the energies, anything that needs to be let go of. And you're going to find yourself back in your own room with your own beautiful soft white ball of light around you. And that group energy field is going to take away anything that's no longer needed. And when you're ready, mm. Mm. I'm sorry everyone, I've got this, this slight desire to stay for longer, but I'm aware of the time, so I'm just seeing how, how I can bring everyone back out in a way that's going to mean that we're all properly present, and at the same time, we don't take too long, so... <sighs> Bring your awareness down into the base of your body, into your sacral and your roots. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Bring your awareness down into your solar plexus. <sighs> nice, and let's just stay with those three at the moment, just this root the sacral and the solar plexus.
So when you're ready, just rubbing your hands together. And gently placing them over your eyes before opening your eyes. Bringing yourself back to the room, back to the present. <sighs> so if any of you would like to speak, you are very welcome. It's always great to have your feedback. That felt like such a deep session. <laughs> I hope you all managed it okay. Rohini, are you with us? I am. <laughs> Come back. Um, if anyone would like to leave any comments or any feedback, um, you can, if you want to stay anonymous, you can just write it in the chat box or uh, feel free to share or you can send us a message. You can send Natalie a message if you'd like to reach out to her privately, you can do that as well. She's offering um, sessions, private one-on-one -on -one sessions as well, which I highly, highly recommend. It's been such a game changer for me as well, especially in unlocking and connecting with my inner child. Um, it seems to be, we keep coming back to that, that aspect and healing that side of ourselves and I feel like that's the root of all healing really so Natalie is is really a wizard in this in this arena and if anyone feels like going deeper I would highly highly <laughs> recommend her thank you so much Natalie really thank you, thank you yeah that was that was very very different from anything I think I've ever done before actually it was uh yeah very very special with a with such an amazing mix of energies and uh yeah so um I hope you all enjoyed I hope you can take that forward with you not only this month but into the next year as well um and yes as Rohini said if there's any any questions or if anything's coming up for you, feel free to contact me um, or if you'd like a treatment or as Rohini was saying, there's also the, the recordings that are now on offer. Um, so would love to connect with you more again next month as well. So let's just, let's just stay connected and just enjoy the beautiful energy that was brought to us today. Um, I'm just leading somewhere that I felt as if I could feel a heartbeat from the floor in the space. Oh, that's really beautiful. That's exactly, exactly it. <laughs> what a beautiful way of describing it. I'm going to read that again. I felt as if I could feel a heartbeat from the floor and the space. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I also just wanted to say, um, give a shout out to Natasha for her amazing artwork. I know she's here with us um, in this session. She's done all of the beautiful artwork for the posters, Natalie's posters for the last few months. And um, yeah, it's just a very, very beautiful, very emotive and really wanted to thank you on behalf of Evolved Beings as well. And in case uh, I don't see y'all, I know you can't see me, but in case I don't see you before the end of the new year, I just wanted to wish everyone a really um, joyous and, and fruitful end to the year. And I hope uh, we see you next month around the same time. I believe our next new moon session will be um, January 13th or 14th. Uh -huh. Um, but so. we'll release yes. those dates and, <laughs> and we'll have this session available for anyone that wants, uh, wants to have a listen to this recording again. We'll be sending it back out in the next 24 hours. Great. Thank you, everybody. Really, really beautiful to have you with us. And uh, yeah, um, hope to see you again next month, if not before. Happy, happy everything. <laughs> <laughs> happy everything. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. You're very welcome. Who's that? Is that Karima? Karima. Oh, yeah, nice hi. to see you. Did you I want to say anything? I always look forward to these connections with you. Oh. And it's powerful as usual. It's 
one of the highlights of my month to attend these sessions with you and i just want you to know that it's been a real pleasure thank you so much oh thank you it's very very lovely to have you with us and uh, yeah all of us as i say helped to create this so it's 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 very lovely to see you here each month as well and uh, yeah thank you for for letting me know because it's always lovely to have feedback as well Sending you a love shower. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. I just want to say how inspiring it is for me. Um, I do a lot of the tech support for Evolve Beings and uh, seeing some of the same faces coming back, uh, Sanchi and Garima, and there's a few of you that I see often and I find it so inspiring because you're all showing up for yourselves. And I think there's nothing more, more inspiring than that. Um, no one's forcing you to be here, but it's amazing. You keep coming back and you show up for yourselves. And I think that that's really, really beautiful. And thank you for, yeah. for having Choosing Evolve Thank Beings. you, Rohini. Uh, you hold this space so beautifully. Thanks to you and thanks to Evolving. Thank you all. Have a great uh, day, evening, morning, afternoon. I don't know where you, you're calling in from, but <laughs> take care, everyone. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Rohini, again, as always. Okay. Thanks, See you all soon. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.